Welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Category. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your category's host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories. Today we're bringing you a competition of West versus West as the Blue Valley West Jaguars take on the Shawnee Mission West Vikings. Let's go ahead and meet our competitors first from Blue Valley West, Gib. Hi, I'm Gib and I'm a senior at Blue Valley West. <laughs> I'm Jonathan and I'm a senior. I'm Whit Womack, I'm a, a sophomore. I'm Steven and I'm also a senior. Kevin Protzman, senior. And our competitors from Shawnee Mission West, Cole. I'm Cole Carson, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Robert Fuller, and I'm a senior. I'm Rebecca Martin, and I'm a senior. I'm Alex Burnett, and I'm a senior. And I'm Danny, and I'm a senior. Fantastic. And in the first round here on categories, each team will get a chance to respond to a question. If a team does respond incorrectly, the other team will have a chance to steal. We did a coin toss before we started taping, and it was won by the Vikings. So Shawnee Mission West, here is the first question happens to be the category of oceanography. Which species of whale, named for a color, migrates a whopping 12,500 miles every year? Cole? Blue whale. That is incorrect. Jaguars, chance to steal this oceanography question. What species of whale, named for a color, migrates a whopping 12,500 miles every year? Wit? The gray whale. It is the gray whale. Gray whale. Jaguars, you do get the next category, which is geography. What liberal Colorado town was dubbed the Berkeley of the Rockley, Rockies? Kevin. Boulder. Boulder is correct. Vikings, you have a math question. Here we go. Factor 36A squared minus 49B squared. Time on that, Jaguars. Oh, Steven, I see you ringing in. Go ahead. Uh, the quantity 6A minus 7B times quantity 6A plus 7B. Could you, I'm sorry, could you do that again? I'm sorry. The quantity 6A minus 7B times quantity 6A plus 7B. There we go. I, I, didn't, I couldn't hear the plus and minus there, but you got it perfect. Thank you very much. Jaguars, chance to steal. Oh, you have the next <laughs> question. I apologize. Next question, which is a science category. Some minerals have become luminescent during exposure to ultraviolet light. If the luminescence continues after exciting rays are removed, the mineral is said to be what? Stephen. Fluorescent. Cannot accept fluorescent. Vikings, chance to steal the science category. Some minerals become luminescent during exposure to ultraviolet light. If this luminescence continues after the exciting rays are removed, the mineral is said to be what? Robert. Phospholuminescent. Cannot accept phospholuminescent. We're looking for phosphorescent. Phosphorescent. Vikings, you do get the next categ category, however, and it is current events. Which chefs mastering the art of French cooking recently sold more copies in one week than it did in any full year since its 1961 debut? Cole. Julia Child's French Cookbook. That is correct. Jaguars, you have the next category, which is movies. Which African capital is also the name of the racehorse whose head ends up in Jack Waltz's bed in The Godfather? Jonathan? Johannesburg? That is incorrect. Vikings. Movies is the category. Which African capital is also the name of the racehorse who, whose head ends up in Jack Waltz's bed in The Godfather? Random guess here, Cairo. It is not Cairo. Khartoum. Khartoum. Vikings, you do get the next categor category, however, and it is music. The marching song of George Washington's army in the Revolutionary War was written by a British army surgeon in 1755 while watching the awkward drilling of the American militia who had volunteered for the French and Indian War, which was then at its height. The surgeon's name was Dr. Richard Shuckberg. What was the song? Cole? Yankee Doodle. It is Yankee Doodle. 
Maritime history is your category, Jaguars. The Flying Cloud was one of the class of sailing ships that plied the Pacific between the United States and the Orient. These beautiful ships attained speeds up to 20 knots. What were they called? Kevin? Sloops. Sloops is incorrect. Vikings, chance to steal this maritime history category. The Flying Cloud was one of the class of sailing ships that plied the Pacific between the United States and the Orient. These beautiful ships attained speeds up to 20 knots. What were they called? Cole? Was it a clipper? It is clipper, and with that correct response, you have even the score at three apiece. You do get the next question, which is literature. Which Toni Morrison novel shares its title with a book of the Old Testament? Danny? Exodus. That is incorrect. Jaguars, chance to steal this literature question. Which Toni Morrison novel shares its title with a book of the Old Testament? Gib? Numbers. That is incorrect. Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon is the correct response. Jaguars, you do get the next category, which is current events. What auto part is the source of a brewing trade war between the U.S. and China? Gib. Tires. Tires is correct. Vikings, you get the next category, which is Latin. The Latin word for sprout gives us which word, meaning to begin to sprout or grow? Cole? Was germinate? Germinate is correct. Jaguars, you have a U.S. government category. These, uh, these are the first few words of what important works. There are three works here, so pay, pay attention. First one is, we the people of the United States. The second one was, when in the course of human events. And the third one is, four score and seven years ago. Kevin? Uh, the Constitution, Declaration of Independence, and the Gettysburg Address. Those are the three. Very good. Vikings, you get the next category. Greek is the category. On the western shore of the Bosporus, the Argonauts met, meet King Phineas, who has misused the gift of prophecy and was harried by what hideous creatures sent by Zeus? Rebecca? Harpies. Harpies is correct. Jaguars, next category for you is science. The primary coil of a transformer has 2,000 loops at 1,200 volts. How many loops are required for a secondary coil to produce 240 volts? Stephen? 100. That is incorrect. Vikings, chance to steal the science category. The primary coil of a transformer has 2,000 loops at 1,200 volts. How many loops are required for the secondary coil to produce 240 volts. Robert? 200. That is incorrect. 400 is what the answer is. Vikings, you do get the next category. It is geography. What country contains more lakes and inland waters than any other country in the world? Cole? The United States. That is incorrect. Jaguars, chance to steal this geography category. What country contains more lakes and inland waters than any other country in the world? Kevin? Russia. That is also incorrect. Canada. Canada is the correct response. Jaguars, you do get the next question, and it is Roman history. Scientific theories today are usually presented in speeches, press conferences, or articles. What ancient Roman philosopher presented the atomic theory in a long didactic poem? Stephen? Democritus. Cannot accept that. Vikings, chance to steal this Roman history category. Scientific the theories today are usually presented in speeches, press conferences, or articles. What ancient Roman philosopher presented the atomic theory in a long didactic poem? Robert? Aristotle. That is incorrect. We're looking for Lucretius. Lucretius. Vikings, you get the next category, which is plastics. It's a science category. Polyethylene is a plastic used in detergent bottles and trash bags. What polyplastic is used to make coffee cups and plastic forks? Robert? Polystyrene. Polystyrene we can accept. Very good. Jaguars, next question for you is a biology question. A mandrake is a wooden plant, a woodland plant. What is a mandrill? Stop. 
Vikings, chance to steal this biology question. A mandrake is a woodland plant. What is a mandrel? Cole. It's a monkey, type of monkey. We cannot accept monkey, I, I apologize. It's a baboon, a baboon. <laughs> apologize for not being able to accept that one. Vikings, you do get the next category, which is a sports question. The greatest pitching achievement in an all-star game history occurred in 1934 when Carl Hubble recorded five strikeouts consecutively against the American League's greatest hitters. Name any two of those five hitters. Danny? Uh, DiMaggio and Ruth. Cannot accept DiMaggio and Ruth. Jaguars, same question. Sports is the category. The greatest pitching achievement in All-Star Game history occurred in 1934, when Carl Hubble recorded five strikeouts consecutively against the American League's greatest hitters. Name any two of the five. Gib? Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. The other three were Jimmy Fox, Al Simmons, and Joe Cronin. Point on the question, which ended up tying up the score at six apiece. Jaguars, you have the next category, which is math is the category. Figure out the single commercial discount, which is equivalent to successive discounts of 10% and then another 10%. Gib. 19%. 19% is correct. Vikings, you have the next category, which is criminals. More than one work of fiction has been thinly veiled, a, a thinly veiled autobiography. In Jerry Kozinski's Blind Date, the murder of Kozinski's friends is graphically dramatized. Kozinski would have himself been a victim if not for a luggage mix-up at the airport. Name the Colt family that committed the brutal mass slaying. Jaguars, chance to steal this criminal's category. More than one work of fiction has a, been a thinly veiled autobiography. In Jerry Kaczynski's Blind Date, the murder of Kaczynski's friends is graphically dramatized. Kaczynski would have been a victim himself if not for a luggage mix-up. Name the Colt family that committed this brutal mass slaying. Gib? The Manson family. The Manson family is correct. Jaguars, you have the next category, which is world history. In May 1991, Fidel Castro removed his troops from which country? Kevin? South Africa. It is not South Africa. Vikings, chance to steal this world history category. In May 1991, Fidel Castro removed his trip troops from which country? Time on that one. Angola. Angola is the correct response. Vikings, U.S. government is the category. In the United States, whose term of office is the longest? Is it a governor, president, senator, or congressman? Cole? Governor. It is in governor is incorrect. Jaguars, chance to steal this U.S. government category. In the United States, whose term of office is longest? Governor, president, senator, congressman? Gib. Senator. It is Senator. And with that correct response, you have opened up a halftime lead of 9 to 6. As we head into halftime, we will go to a member of each team who will give us a campus update. And from Blue Valley West, I believe Jonathan is giving us our update. Jonathan, what is happening with the Jaguars? All right, so our band just got back from London after marching in the New Year's parade. That was successful. They had about a week's trip over there. Um, our winter sports are doing pretty well. Uh, the wrestling came back from winter break and they're ready to uh, wrap up their season. Um, boys swim and drive too. Um, the musical is preparing for their, uh, their big show, um, Sweeney Todd, which will be uh, playing, I think, in about a month or two. And um, state auditions for music, um, band, orchestra, and choir will be coming up soon. I know this Saturday for, uh, for orchestra, so. Oh, that's fantastic. Ready. Well, good luck. Awesome. And from Shawnee Mission West, I believe, Danny, you are giving us our campus update. What is happening with the Vikings? The, uh, the girls' basketball team is undefeated right now. They've got a couple more games coming up this week, actually. Um, the musical is rehearsing right now. It's Les Miserables. Uh, and the robotics team is going to have a competition coming up in March, I think. So looking forward to that. Fantastic. All the exciting events at West. I think I've seen your robotics team. Don't they wear the full-on Viking helmet? I believe so, yeah. yeah. That's, that's excellent. That's, that's, yeah. 
You can see them coming from a mile away. That's yeah. pretty cool. Uh, once again, both uh, both high schools engage not only in athletic events but academic and activities. It's two excellent examples. As we head into the second round, the lightning round, we will start off with a look and listen question, which will be worth two points. And then we will proceed into the lightning round where questions are placed on the floor for either team to answer. If a team does respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal and earn the point. So both teams, here we go, look and listen. It is an arts category. Name the instrument seen and heard in the following performance. Please be very specific. Gib? Bagpipe. We cannot accept bagpipe. Vikings, chance to steal. What is the name of this instrument? Please be specific. Time on that one. We actually were have, had to look for Irish bagpipes on that one, where the air is supplied by bellows instead of the lungs like a Scottish bagpipe. Mm. So I apologize for having to be incredibly specific there on that one. But uh, there is a difference between the two. All right, here we go into the lightning round for both teams. U.S. presidents is the category. Name the only two Democratic presidents defeated for re-election since the Civil War. Grover Cleveland and Jimmy Carter are the two presidents. Chemistry is the next category for both teams. These symbols each stand for a chemical element important to the nutrition of the human body. There are four of them. Name these chemicals by the, by the uh, periodic symbol. C, A, F, E, I, and K. Well, we're going to have to throw that one out. We'll reset the buzzers. <laughs> For those playing at home, it was calcium, iron, iodine, and potassium. Science, again, is the next category. All right, we've reset the system, so here we go. Psychologists use the general term to describe the reward given to strengthen a stimulus response bond. What is that general term? Jonathan? A reward? Cannot accept reward. Vikings, chance to steal this science question. Psychologists use what general term to describe the reward given to strengthen stimulus response bond? What is it? Cole? Positive feedback. Cannot accept positive feedback. We're just looking for reinforcement. Reinforcement. Both teams. Next category is current events. A group of protesters is asking the Supreme Court to force which NFL team to change its nickname? Cole. The Redskins. The Redskins is correct. Music is the next category for both teams. Identify the number and type of musical instruments hanging from a Mason City, Iowa ceiling, a tribute to a native son. The number would be 76 and the type of instrument would be trombones. They're in the big parade, also hanging from a ceiling. All right, here we go. Both teams, the law is the next category. What's the term for a woman who is appointed to carry out the provisions in a person's will? Executrix. Executrix is what we're looking for. U.S. history is the next category for both teams. Its legislature in 1832 decided 73 to 58 against abolishing slavery in this U.S. state. Name the only southern state even to consider abolition before the Civil War. It's a direct result of fears following Nat Turner's rebellion. Robert? Kansas. That is not correct. Jaguars chance to steal this U.S. history category. Its legislature in 1832 decided 73 to 58 against abolishing slavery in this U.S. state. Name the only, this only southern state ever to consider abolition before the Civil War, a direct result of fears following Nat Turner's rebellion. Gib. Delaware. It is not Delaware. It is Virginia. Virginia. World history is the next category for both teams. The Bolsheviks and the Mensheviks were factions of what Russian political party with a two-word name? Mm. 
Gibb. National Socialist. Cannot accept National so Socialist. Vikings, chance to steal this world history question. The Bolsheviks and the Mensheviks were factions of what Russian political party with a two-word name? Robert. The uh, United Soviets. That is not correct. Social Democrats. Social Democrats is the correct response. Etiquette for both teams. According to Miss Manners, when two people are walking down a street under an umbrella, which person should have the sense to hold the umbrella? Gib. The man. Cannot accept the man. Vikings. Etiquette is the category. According to Miss Manners, when two people are walking down the street under an umbrella, which person should have the sense to hold the umbrella? Robert? The taller? The taller one is correct. Miss Manners. U.S. Presidents is the next category for both teams. In the landmark 1835 case, Richard Lawrence was acquitted of attempted murder by reason of insanity, the first prominent defendant acquitted in a U.S. court on the grounds of insanity. Lawrence had tried to assassinate which U.S. President at the Capitol? Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson. <laughs> Education history is the next question for both teams. This American philosopher and educator helped lead a movement called pragmatism. He was opposed to the idea of learning by rote memorization, championed the right of the pupil to learn by experience, and favored the teaching of manual skills. Who was he? Jonathan. Horace Mann. That is incorrect. Vikings, chance to steal this education history category. This American philosopher and educator helped lead a movement called pragmatism. He was opposed to the idea of learning by rote memorization, championed the right of pupil to learn by experience, and favored the teaching of manual skills. Who was he? Robert? Thoreau. That is incorrect. John Dewey. John Dewey is who we were looking for. Spelling is the next category. Cirrhosis is an ailment associated with the inflammation of the liver. How do you spell cirrhosis? Kevin. C-I-R-R-H-O-S-I-S. That's exactly right. You did that very quickly, too. Thank you. <laughs> with that correct response, you have opened up a lead of Blue Valley West 10, Shawnee Mission West 8. Art is the next category for both teams. The most popular attraction at the 1964 New York World's Fair was an art object, a sculpture of Jesus and Mary called Pieta. Who sculpted it? Cole. Michelangelo. That is correct. Music is the next category. In music theory, what are the five accidentals? Robert? Double flat, flat, natural, sharp, and double sharp. Those are the five. And with that correct response, you have even the score at 10 apiece. Science is the next category for both teams. Any even-toed, hoofed animal, including those that chew their cud, such as oxen, sheep, goats, antelope, giraffes, and camels, is called what? Stephen? An ungulate. Excuse me? An ungulate. That is incorrect. Vikings, chance to steal this science category. Any even-toed hoofed animal, including those that chew their cud, such as oxen, sheep, goats, antelope, giraffes, and camels, is called what? Ruminant. Ruminant is what we were looking for. Geography is the next category for both teams. Angel Falls in Venezuela is the highest known waterfall in the world with an elevation of 3,281 feet. The United States claims three of the 10 highest waterfalls in the world. All of them are located in what national park? Gib. Niagara Falls National Park? That is incorrect. Vikings, chance to steal this geography question. Angel Falls in Venezuela is the highest known waterfall in the world with an elevation of 3,281 feet. The United States claims three of the 10 highest waterfalls in the world. All of them located in what national park? Cole. Yellowstone? It is not Yellowstone. It is Yosemite. Yosemite. Math is the next cash, uh, question for both teams. If the sales tax on a dress that costs $60 is $4.50, what will the sales tax be on a dress that costs $100?
Kevin? $7.50. $7.50 is correct. Another spelling question in regards to spi science is the next category. A variety of metamorphic rock pronounced nice is spelled, Stephen? G-N-E-I-S-S. -S. Very good. That is correct. Current events is the next question for both teams. On September 17th, scientists announced they, they have discovered, excuse me, the discovery of a cute miniature version of which dinosaur? Stephen? T-Rex? T-Rex is correct. Another math question for both teams. Translate the following Roman numeral. Here we go. D-C-C-X-L-I-X. -C -C Seven hundred forty-nine. Seven hundred forty-nine. Next question for both teams. Arts and crafts is the category. Bentwood furniture is shaped by pressure, moisture, and what else? Jonathan. Heat. Heat is correct. With that correct response, you have opened up a lead of fourteen to ten. Another math question for both teams. In mathematics, what is the Greek letter sigma used to denote? Stephen. Summation. Summation is correct. Agriculture is the next category for both teams. 90% of the world's export of mustard seeds are from what largest sized NATO nation? Canada. Robert, it is Canada. That is correct. Chemistry is the next question for both teams. The elements sodium, lithium, potassium, rubidium, and cesium Stephen. Alkaline metals. Alkaline metals is correct. World history is the next question for both teams. It is well known the Carthaginian General Hannibal used elephants during the Punic Wars. In 1856, the U.S. Secretary of War, Jefferson Davis, imported another unlikely animal to be used as a beast of burden at Camp Gibb. Camels. It is camels. Used them at uh, Camp Verde in Texas. They got 32 of them. Federal Acts is the next question for both teams. What chapter of Federal Bankruptcy Act deals with personal bankruptcy? Jonathan? Eight. That is incorrect. Vikings, chance to steal this Federal Acts category. What chapter of the Federal Bankruptcy Act deals with personal bankruptcy? Robert? Eleven. It is not 11, it happens to be 13, 13. Well, that siren, it, it does denote the end of our contest as we have a final score of Blue Valley West 17, Shawnee Mission West 11. Please make sure you join us here, right here on Categories as we bring you the brightest and best minds right here of Johnson, Johnson County High School students.